good morning. Back again at the Hans Skate Park. It is 7.15. Bit of a late one today. I've got to pick 6.30 instead of like 6. So um, people are busy. They, uh, there was kind of a um, summer festival at the park that lasted probably two weeks, I guess. They seem to be taking it all down now. It's a bit noisy, but we'll deal with it. I'm going to be mostly in the bowl anyway. Um, I... Uh, did have a skate a few days ago, maybe three days ago, but I did all my warm up and stuff like that. And then as soon as I went into the bowl, I fell over and stretched my that exact same stomach muscle for some reason. Stretched that out. It's still a little bit tender, but I'm going to go nice and easy today. Um, yeah. Uh, so here's a clip of that. Well, actually, I don't have a clip of that. So yeah, today we're just going to go straight to the bowl. I've done my warm up. I just skated around a bit. I feel a bit self-conscious because there's some uh, slacking workers over there who uh, I can't. I don't know if you can see them, but they were like having a tea break or something like that, and they were just watching me go around. So I was feeling a bit self-conscious. It's uh, one of the um, trade-offs, I suppose, of having such a quiet skate park when you come out early in the morning is that when people are actually there, <laughs> you don't feel comfortable anymore. Whereas if I'd been uh, learning and practicing during a busy, in a busy skate park in the first place, maybe I would be, uh, yeah, a bit more comfortable. Oh well. Okay, so I'm going to go head into the bowl. Um, I'm going to try a drop in like from straight straight away. Uh, the one that I did uh, last time, where I, I pulled my stomach, that was actually a successful drop in, but um, it was a bit like it was a bit like the one in the previous video where it was a successful drop-in, but then I just couldn't figure out what to do on the ramp on the way out because I was trying to do something else. Um, so I went in, went up one of the taller ramps, um, and then fluffed up the, the, the coming down backwards again part, um, and that's how I pulled my stomach. So um, I'm still actually pretty happy that I've almost got these um, static drop -in, standing drop-ins nailed but we'll see today. I'm going to do a few more. I'll get the camera set up in the usual spot. It's a shame there aren't more spots for the camera, but um, because it, it, it's not exactly a very dynamic video just to watch me go in and swoop and then go in and then swoop and then after all this time. But that's okay. Um, oh well, let's go. Okay, so I did the drop in. It went fine. Um, although when I came towards another part of the pipe, I couldn't decide whether I wanted to like um, step out or can, like try and turn around and keep rolling, or just roll back down again backwards. So I ended up sort of half trying to turn around and half trying to get out and, <laughs> and pulled my stomach again. So um, I'm not going to be doing any drop-ins today because actually, when I swoop in and come out the other side, it's actually quite a lot of um, stretch and flex on my stomach to to get out on the other side so I'm just gonna take it easy and uh, do some of this so I'm gonna try the opposite direction circle today normally I go in a clockwise direction today I'm gonna try anti-clockwise I'll be pushing around the corners with my right foot today so maybe I'll even have more speed and height than usual we'll see I'll take it slow and then uh, try and get a, a feel for it and we'll just get in some reps I'm gonna go for 30 and see how I feel um, it'll probably be, be end up going like higher than that, 50 or 100, we'll see. Because it's pretty much the only thing I'm going to do today. It's one of those things that at the moment when I'm in the bowl and I'm coming up to a ramp and I'm going high speed, I'm still like not panicking but just so indecisive that it often goes wrong. Which is how I pulled my stomach because I went up to one and it went wrong because I didn't know what I wanted to do. Even today I pulled, pulled it a little bit because uh, I couldn't decide whether I wanted to get out or not. Okay, so we're going to go anti clockwise today. Yeah, like that. Okay,
Okay, so definitely needs practice. Feels really weird, like most switch stuff. Yeah, it feels really difficult. It feels really difficult to um, to find the circle that I should be in, if you know what I mean. When I'm going clockwise around to the right, I've got kind of like a path that I always take. Let's do a little bit on the other side. figuring out where my head is supposed to look. either it's not actually consistent which is something I didn't expect I'm either coming up to it and looking at the floor right here and then moving my sight as I come up over to there so when I come down I'm spotting the landing or I glance at the top where I expect my feet to land and then look down as I hit the ramp. I think that second one's probably more effective. I think it'll more effective for getting height because your body follows your head. I think if I'm looking at the ground all the time, my jumps aren't going to be as good. I haven't spotted where my feet, where I want my feet, so it's going to be a bit less, uh, a bit uh, more difficult to do the jump and put my feet where I want because I don't actually know when my feet are going to touch the ramp because I haven't looked at it. So, look up, look down. Look up, look down. Look up, down. trying to figure out there is for how long 
I should look up. Whether I should glance at it, figure it out, and then look down, or look at it for a bit longer, maybe even until my feet are where they are, and my upward momentum is finished, and then look down. And, I mean, I don't know yet. Those felt pretty high, pretty decent, um, and without much effort or force behind it. Uh, on the ones that I was concentrating on keeping my eyes high uh, until it was time to turn around. But the one thing is you don't want to leave it too late and not spot your landing because otherwise you go up and you're like, oh fuck, and then you, I don't know, probably, yeah, miss coming down or miss coming down uh, with the optimum push or the optimum velocity or the optimum ang angle. Not that I've got any of those yet, but um, yeah, there's got to be some balance in between but I do, yeah, I do think that looking high up the ramp um, is more effective than looking at the ground as you, as you go across um, in terms of getting height and speed. Let's try and put that knowledge into my uh, switch side. Pump was better. Problem there was that I was trying to focus on everything. I was trying to get my good pump, I was trying to get my eyes in the right place, I was trying to jump higher than normal, I was trying to angle myself better than normal. And that was, oh, especially the second one there, I was basically almost vertical when I tried to do my jump, which is a terrible, terrible idea. Okay, let's try going down this ramp in front. I think I would have been okay, but I got air off this this little ooh, this little thing here. What is that? A lip? I don't know. Um, yeah. Next time I try it, I need to remember to focus on getting a turn at the top to see if I can come down forwards, um, or maybe come down and immediately 180 on the ground so I can come out forwards. Let's try and get some speed from over here and give it a go. actually felt pretty easy and natural. I want to try some pumps as well, maybe I can pump all the way around here. But I think what you do with corner pumping is you uh, almost pump in a square where I would like aim for the for the hole up there and then do a little turn and then come down. So my, my, I've got two pumps on this corner. One pump is to get up there and there's another pump coming down to give me speed on the way out. Uh, let me just try and figure something out. So that was no good because my lower skate was trying to continue on straight and my upper skate was... Hmm. Maybe I need more speed. Okay, you were sort of coming away. Let's try it again and try and show you. Oh boy. I've got a lot of weight on my heels there to uh, so that I can um, pivot my toes. <laughs> but I don't know, I think I think I need to see a proper video tutorial on it. It's very difficult to figure out on my own because I'm getting around the corner. Do I just need slightly better technique or am I doing it wrong? <laughs> I 
and there's a way for getting smoothly around the corner. Because, yeah, getting around the corner and not falling over isn't the same as getting a really good pump out of the corner and having a, a bunch of speed to carry on to the next whatever. Okay, still taking it easy. I'm going to try and uh, work out pumping on this corner. There's a couple of interesting bits. This, um, this bowl in front of us isn't round. There's like three corners, there's sort of two corners on the left and one corner on the right. It's difficult to explain. Maybe I can, maybe you can see from the top, like over whoop, right here, it's like a flat bit. It's got one corner just here and then it goes flat and then another corner right there. But this one's one continuous corner. It's also got an outside corner right here. And this is where I put the camera normally. It's got this little bump thing up here. So maybe I can bump over, I can uh, pump over this corner, pump around here, pump around here, maybe pump up on top of here, or I don't know. I'm gonna try and do some stuff. Um, yeah, but I don't know if you're gonna be able to hear me talk, so I'll come back and chat when I wanna chat. Okay, here we go. Uh, I'm going to do a drop in as well. Maybe you'll see it, maybe you won't. Oh, I had one of those indecisive moments back there about whether I was going to shoot up out into, of the bowl or, or do a little turn. And I actually made the decision in time this time. I should really start doing that before I do the drop in. Uh. Okay, so yeah, we've got this little outside corner. Yeah, that's pretty good actually. You can get some height up it, and you've got a really good angle to, to shoot down at the end without sort of turning your body too much. So that's actually pretty good for pumping up. Um, this kind of new corner, we've got the first round bit. decent pump on that left one. trying to sort of go backwards around it, but I couldn't find the angle. Something like that. If I can get used to that, I'll be able to do it at high speed, that's cool. It's much easier to... Uh, be on my toes and maneuver with my my heels like this. There you can see. It's much easier when you're going backwards to to turn yourself and just do this with your heels so that you can turn where you where you need to go. But when you're going forwards, you have to do it like this, and it's a lot tougher, a lot less natural, I guess. Let's get up, get up on here. I think you can see that. And then try and get some real speed. Come around this corner. See if we can like almost brush the coping at the top of the ramp there. Oh 
Okay, so... I guess this way... Uh, I don't know how high up that, that was. <laughs> Maybe I didn't have enough speed? I don't know. But uh, I did survive. And I did come down where I expected to come down, coming across the bottom of that right-hand corner. Um, huh. I don't know. I don't know, though. It didn't feel like... Yeah, uh, well, I guess it was the first time I tried it. I didn't get any pump whatsoever from that. I was just using momentum from, from coming down here. So I probably didn't get to the top, or close to the top. Okay, so we're gonna move it over here where I can see like this as a straight line. Maybe a little bit less than a straight line. I want to be able to see the right hand side there as well, get the focus. Oh, it's gone dark. I don't know if I. Okay, whatever. And we'll do another drop in. only be able to pump after a drop-in. speed control there. Got just to the top and didn't have to like brake or anything. Just got to the height I needed. Oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> I'm okay. And if you saw that but <laughs> I got right to the top of the coping there and my uh, my foot touched the top of the coping and I uh, yeah may have been made a bit uneasy. Uh, yeah, pumping a lot easier with, uh, with good initial speed, but how do you get there without dropping off something? How do you start from just skating and, and pumping makes you faster? Uh, so far for me, it's like, I've got to be going at least at some critical speed, some some unknown but critical speed before I can sort of maintain that speed with pumping. Um, if I'm just getting started and trying to get up to that speed, I can't get faster. Only It's only if I'm at that speed or more that I can actually accelerate or maintain the speed. Um, more practice required, let's keep going. I'm actually getting pumps now, um, and I think worrying about keeping my feet on the ground at all times and all that stuff isn't 
quite what pumping is. I think pumping is a little adjustment of your feet at the apex. And then, so you sort of, you get a pump up into the corner, you adjust your feet and then you get a pump out of the corner. Um, I just need to be better at making those micro adjustments to my feet so they're not, I don't feel uh, out of balance and stuff like that. this one when I hit it. Unfortunately it, this corner is going to the left for me which is my switch side um, but it doesn't matter. Still got still to learn and get corners on both sides. I think that was kind of what I was going for but it felt really unnatural. Yeah, I'm sort of stalling at the top when I shouldn't be. That's kind of what I want. It's kind of, it's, I guess it's just ramp pumping, but there happens to be a corner there. I think you get less time to do your turn there. Does it pump? I don't know. I don't know if people are doing that on corners when they're trying to pump. I mean, I certainly uh, had more speed coming out than I went going in, so I guess it's a pump. Well, maybe about the same speed. I got a uh, broader angle. I think my angles so far have been a bit too tight. The problem is with the broad angles, I can't do the little turn. I'm kind of going along, not, not coming to a stop, doing my turn and coming back again. Um, I think that's a matter of technique. slow down so I could get the turn in. It's, uh, I've got to be a bit more dynamic, a bit more, because when you're going around the, um, when you, as you're going around the corner, you're actually pulled into the corner by, I don't know, what is it? Centrifugal? And that's pushing centrifugal force. going around the corner so it's pushing me into the wall but that makes it difficult to make my feet turn because I'm getting pushed so hard into the wall. Um, so yeah I don't know what to do about that.
and I'm trying for a broad angle. My feet are pointing maybe too high. Maybe I need to turn my feet before I get into the corner. So I try getting to the right side of that right corner and turning my feet in up there. Maybe. Feel good. Doesn't feel smooth. So I can make my, my high leg follow the wall around me, but my low leg doesn't know what to do if I try and spread out my feet like that. And of course it doesn't look too good. I shouldn't need to jump. I shouldn't need to hop there. Hmm. I can feel that a pump is there. feel that it's there and that I, if I shove into it, it will pump me, but my feet are always pointing in the wrong direction, and I don't know how to get them in the right direction for the pump. Right, so I'm back home. As usual, when I had a bunch of fun, I recorded for too long and ran out of memory, so um, I'll do the wrap-up now. Uh, yes, so I was doing a nice little bit of um, pump and jump after my... Um, after my warm-up. Uh, it was all going very well, did some more pumping all around different corners and stuff as well. Um, I was really enjoying myself in the bowl there for uh, a really long time. After it stopped recording back there, it must have been another 15-20 minutes before I finally finished the session. Um, uh, one thing that I tried to do was pump backwards and forwards and backwards and forwards up and down and try and get enough speed to come out of the bowl. Um, I tried that but um, didn't get enough speed and pulled my stomach again. I really wrenched my stomach because I tried to get my hands on the lip of the bowl but I couldn't get myself all the way up so I started falling back down and it was oh, <laughs> really stretched out my, my stomach so oh well, shouldn't really have tried that. Um, but yeah, I still had a lot of fun. Uh, I think it's going to be a bit of a cooler today, day today. There was a lot of cloud cover. Uh, still is. I need to go downtown and uh, get a suit for this wedding that I'll be attending next week. Um, but yeah, all in all, it's been a really good morning and um, a great start to the day. Alright, thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next one.